Hi Pisces, this is your April 2020 general forecast. So this is for Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising Signs. This is, yeah, for the whole month. Um, I'm going to be doing a two deck reading with a Celtic cross. And then we'll get a card each from the Oracle decks to polish off your reading. All right, Pisces, what do you need to know for April 2020? Messages for Pisces. Just for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, April 2020. Alright guys, uh, let's get the first layer out. I will, as always, get a bottom of the deck energy card for you. And then we'll lay our second layer on top. Starting out with some swords energy. Something could be taking over your thought processes. You are moving on to clearer mind frame. Um, you could have to get creative about what you're thinking or maybe have to let someone down graciously or certainly because of the general reading this could be happening to you if you're not doing it to someone else. There's some more swords energy over here. Okay, so I mean you need, definitely need to come to terms with something that like, could be keeping you up at night. Um, Let's wait until we get another layer on. Well, let's look at the bottom of the deck here. We do have the Fool. This is the Alpha and the Omega. This is a really nice card in terms of like the soul, the spirit, moving in a positive direction for yourself. This is a leap of faith. It's a protected leap of faith. Um, let's get our other layer out. I just want to see if we have any duplicates before moving ahead. Um, what have we got over here? What are you? Nine. We do have two nines. What else have we got here? I believe those are the only duplicates right now. I'm going to see if those are meaningful in any way. It doesn't appear to be super meaningful. Let's see what other the other layer suggests. Let's qualify April 2020 for Pisces Sun Moon Rising. Qualify Celtic Cross. Pisces Sun Moon Rising. having to do with your home. There's the Eight of Swords, there's a Nine. Definitely going to try to get out of our head here, guys. Um, something having to do with money, progress, healing. We do see the Three of Swords coming out twice. And there's the Ten of Swords. So yeah, you have a lot in your mind. Um, you could be worried at this time. It will affect how you feel. I do want to mention that as well. Um, anytime we're looking at Swords Energy, we're looking at the thought process or um, you know, the tools of manifestation. So I would just uh, be clear about what you are thinking and why you would be thinking that. You do have a creative way of expressing something here or coming to terms with something, but it could be a letdown, something you didn't want or didn't expect. There could be a third party situation here involved as well. Um, it's a general reading, right? So use the information to your advantage however you see fit. Bottom of the deck, as I mentioned, full qualified by the Ten of Swords. So this is technically overkill. I'm going to look at like communication, information, thought processes, ideas. Um, you, need, you know, even gathering and disseminating information, right? Anything having to do with information at this time is highlighted in the Swords. I'm reading for you on March 21st, by the way if that is helpful. Um, so yeah, moving in a new direction, it looks like you are really gonna help yourself out by doing that. You're gonna give yourself the freedom, the opportunity, um, the allowance, the faith in a beautiful future and, and being able to handle anything that comes your way. You're gonna set yourself free from that here because this is overkill. Something felt like too much. It was too much information. It was too much conversation. It was too much something. Um, you could have even felt backstabbed, right, if that's the case, but you're free from it now, thankfully. Let's look at our first position. So the first instance of the Three of Swords, we see it again over here, qualified by the King of Pentacles. So, you know, the King of Pentacles represents fixed um, earth energy, of course, that's Taurus, and that could be, you know, banking and lending, money, income, also possessions, I would suggest here with your um, speaking and singing voice could be affected here as well. Um, but like I said, the Three of Swords is just kind of um, a little bit of a reality check. It's like feeling 
that you have to make a decision where something has to go, something has to, it's just not what you wanted to hear. You don't want to have maybe that conversation. You don't want to hear that. Um, there could be a sense of conflict, separation in any area of your life, right? But again, there could be a new beginning. I think if you address problems honestly, um, you could really make a positive transition here with regard to income and money. Certainly, there may be a sense of alienation or not at least you know assessing or believing you have what you need now, but it just it's just because larger um, influences are at play here. So something could just be suddenly out of your hands and you just don't want don't want to hear it. Right, but in terms of separation or loss around, you know, possessions, money, income, even savings at this time, you could even be dealing with a Taurus individual and having a difficult conversation with them. And that, of course, was in the influence on you or the direction of the reading, in the position of obstacles to your direction or the situation is how this affects your home, right? So you're going to move away from troubled waters here. Literally or figuratively, I'm going to suggest this is in the mind because we are dealing with communication, um, problem solving, that type of thing. This does have to do with your home. We could be dealing with an 1111. I want to suggest that um, if you're keen on such things, you know, just look out for numbers this month, 1111, 2020, that type of thing could be very potent for you. Um, but look for reassurance in those areas. Your home is being affected or certainly the way you're thinking about your home could be um you know, first and foremost, certainly in the first two weeks of the month as opposed to the last two weeks of, of the month. Um, it'll be interesting to see what's going on here. In fact, I might even pull another card for that because that's just a lot of swords, difficult sword energy. We'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> um, you know, this is a lot of stability, okay? This is a stable home, a stable mind, moving away from difficult information or conversation at this time. So really help yourself out by um, taking care of the home, taking care of the family. Here we do have the Two of Wands qualified by the Eight of Swords. This is in your desired aim or achievable, um, what's likely achievable for you. Uh, yeah, you need to recognize that you could be moving in a new direction. So the Two of Wands is looking at a choice. What direction would you want to move in? Probably in how you behave, how you operate, your work world, the business world. And, you know, the eights really, as opposed to the nine, the eight is almost like I have to come to terms with something. You could just be overwhelmed or, or inundated with thoughts and beliefs and ideas or even information at this time. I would consider the source, as I've been saying to other, um, as I've been suggesting in other readings, really consider the source right now. Try not to get overwhelmed with too much information or even, you know, like a doomsday scenario type thing. Like try not to think of all say worst possible outcomes, you know, just balance that worst possible outcome with the best possible outcome, that type of thing. And then, you know, choose your path. You have a lot of experience doing the right thing, making the right decisions. So really try to count on yourself right now as well, Pisces. Here we have in the distant past, right? This is the past, I would say week. Uh, we have some Sagittarius energy with the Knight of Wands here, um, qualified by the Nine of Wands. So you really do feel stuck. You feel like things are stymied. Things, uh, especially in the work world or uh, plans that you'd had some success, some you know personal or career advancement, maybe feel overwhelmed right now, or you know there's it's wounded soldier energy, energy. So there's just a sense of like this feels like a lot. This feels like maybe more than I signed up for. Uh, but on a positive front, we go right up to the King and the World, right? So the King of Wands. Same element, Leo energy up here with the world. And this is a major turnover, right? The world is looking at a major turnover. There's a lot of um, infinity energy here. You are guided and protected. You could have some spiritual advancement at this time if you're so inclined. Um, but certainly this is your recent past, past 72, I'd say 40, 48 hours or so, um, where you feel more inspired, right? Maybe you feel very positive about your career or business uh, trajectory here. Um, you could feel inspired to help or, or assist others at this time. You could be a hero. Um, but again, your home, your family, children could play a part as well. So the home over here and then um, maybe even just the world at large, you know, what's humanity feeling? What's humanity going through? That could be a, a concern for some Pisces right now as well. 
Nine of Wands qualified by the King of Cups here in your new influences or what to discover. We saw the Nine of Wands back here. So a lot of hard work is ahead, right? But you've got it. You've got the energy. You've got the flow. You've got the motivation. You could be, um, you know, encouraged by a sense of compassion, a sense of um, passion and psychic awareness for the larger picture here. We do have Eighth House energy situated in the King of Cups. All kings are fixed energy, uh, fixed uh, mode, quality, if you will. Um, so Scorpio energy, technically, or eighth house energy over the nine of wands is you can really pull through, you can play the hero. You could even um, be working overtime by doing the right thing or be asked to work overtime right now. Um, sex, death, and rebirth is indicated in the 8th house, um, also shared finances and possessions. So if you have a spouse, for example, we are looking at home, we are looking at, um, uh, these are actually up, uh, opposite signs, right? So we have Scorpio and Pisces, so there's definitely a coupling here of home, family, mother, father situation here, um, and shared finances are very much... Um, if, if not a concern, they're, they're being, you know, um, talked about and dealt with here. Two kings I want to mention as well. We do have two kings and this is business opportunities. So again, this is what I mean. Like you could really, something could have been difficult or unusual, or you might have have to feel like you have to start over with something, but it's, it's actually going to prove to, um, be very positive for you. I think I will get another card for the ending here, so I'm gonna to try to slide through these guys rather quickly. Five of Cups here qualified by the Queen of Pentacles and how you feel about the situation. You're supremely disappointed um, with how your money was being nurtured. You feel like savings are being, um, uh, could feel daunted about savings or income or growth or nurturing. Um, of course, this is Capricorn energy. So you just, you want, you want it to keep going in a, in a solid practical direction and that seems to be impeded on. You're at the six of wands qualifying the four of swords. This is how other people see you. So you may need rest or recovery at this time. Um, probably from uh, information, communication, conversation. You know, uh, again, we're dealing with fours, right? So there's a sense of stability at least, but you know, and coming after these, this Three of Swords energy, we really need a little bit of a calming of how we think about something, maybe feeling as though there is a sense of loss, there is a sense of having to give something up. Um, now the Threes technically can be creative, so there could be a new creative opportunity here as well, even if something isn't going, quote, your way. But nonetheless, after a rest and recovery period, um, or a reflection period here, you know, there is um, a victory that's imminent and victory is indicated here. So maybe just get some rest by the third week of the month here, guys. Here we have this gorgeous um, ace. Love seeing any ace, really. So the ace of cups qualified with the star card. So this is purity of thought. This, uh, sorry, purity of heart. Um, this is in your hopes and fears position. I do see you trying to stay positive about things. Definitely, there is healing, more healing potential. We have it sort of at the minor level over here and the major arcana level over here. You're guided and protected. Um, star quality. This is 11th house energy or Aquarius ruled energy. So this is the larger picture. This is humanity and brotherhood, etc. So you have a lot of heart for the world or you're feeling a lot of heart. You can see that the seahorse is looking directly at the woman in the star card. So, you know, try to have purity of heart at this time or take heart, uh, heal your heart at this time. You know, in terms of a hope, you're going to want to focus on that. Uh, but there could be a new offer of love here that uh, adds to healing as well. We do have the Nine of Swords with the Three of Swords. And this is your outcome or advice. Um, I do want a clarifier for those two cards. We clarify the Nine of Swords qualified by the Three of Swords as an advice. Qualify the Nine of Swords by... Qualify by Three of Swords for advice. Nine of Swords qualified by Three as an advice. Okay. I just want one card, please, and thank you. I had about five jump out. All right, folks, so we see the world again. world is indicated back here. You could just be really um, concerned for the world at large, guys. You could just have that big of a heart where you're concerned about the world. 
Um, you see significant changes here. You understand that something needs to be let go of, perhaps, big changes. Um, the world is on your mind. The world is on your mind. Or you, or, um, you have a recognition about the world that, you know, you're just going to have to come to terms with here. As I said, whenever we see the Three of Swords, it's not always a bad thing. It's just, you know, giving something up. We're, we're going to have to let go of something here. We're going to have to, you know, deal with a sense of separation. Uh, but a fresh start is available, right? We see this over here. This is our hope. The, the, you know, pay attention to your hope here because... If there's any conflict, if there's any pain, no matter what area of your life this is um, addressing, right? We're going to have to be honest about that and be prepared for a sense of alienation or isolation here uh, from the world. Very interesting. You're the last reading I'm doing. You probably know that because you're the last sign of the zodiac. I do read them in order. Um, Very interesting for you guys. You guys seem to have a little bit, at least, you may be even more acutely aware of what's going on. Maybe that's why it seems to be hitting you a little bit harder or we're that much closer to April that I'm reading and this is just more potent because we're closer to April. I'm not sure. I am actually, I don't have Pisces in my chart. I think my Psyche or my Eros is in Pisces. I forget which one, but if, um, first, uh, you know, seven planets on my chart, I do not have Pisces, so I'm not sure. Only my little Pisces friends out there. You can tell me. How about that? You can leave a comment and tell me if this makes sense to you, Pisces. a lot of swords for you however I've been um, noting for other uh, signs I've been reading for um, the lack of swords cards so something you may just be coming aware of or coming to terms with something here guys because other signs were really kind of in their practical world in the world of you know feelings I'm gonna say cups or pentacles Cups and Pentacles were really heavy in other readings. Your reading involves a lot of wands and a lot of swords, which is um, beliefs, ideas, opinions, communication, and then action and behavior. I'm going to take all these. They all jumped out outright, uh, upright rather. We do have fear in the rabbit. The rabbit jumped out for you. I see this very clearly in your reading. There are some fears, but it's mostly, it's just around the element of the unknown and a lot of hard work, having to level up, having to do something perhaps you weren't planning for, having to um, convey some difficult truths or having them conveyed to you. It is, it is what it is right now, Pisces, because it's kind of where um, just everything's changing in real time. So... Um, you might even be ahead of the curve, right? The rest of us might just be stuck trying to figure out where to work and you're just like, oh no, I ha I'm, I'm, I see a larger picture here. We got to start over. So who knows? Uh, exchanging gifts. I do see this as an element of being in the moment. You can see sort of the ballerina in the gift box. This is being in the present, um, literally. So this might even help you out a little bit in terms of advice. You know, if you can stay in the moment, stay in the present, try not to give the past or the future too much um, energy, um, pick a direction for yourself. You know, you can really be the hero for yourself right now or the world at large, I'm seeing. Um, so, you know, give yourself a lot of credit here. Uh, things are not easy, for sure. Things aren't easy necessarily and it may impact your income or the way you feel about things but you do have a new opportunity here so try to stay true to a positive connection to source give your relationship a chance work on your partnership if this is a love or romance reading for you you're definitely going to want to try to talk to the other person see where they're coming from but like I said, there could be a third party, if I didn't say, I meant to, there could be a third party situation, there could be an affair, there could be someone who's breaking up, um, 
maybe three strikes you're out, maybe someone did something two times and they had one more time. You know, you gave someone an ultimatum and, and they just kind of threw it away. You could be facing that as well here and it could have to do with job or career as well. But if this is a relationship reading for you, you know, I believe in a ch giving someone a chance or a new opportunity or, um, or even an ultimatum if it's not the same thing. If this person was given an ultimatum or a chance not to do something and it was the same thing and they did the same thing three times, that's it. That's it. Okay? You know, you know, you got to love yourself here enough to say, I'm not going to tolerate something that kind of breaks my heart or makes me have to keep watching or expecting the worst. Um, if it's a new thing, if it's if they don't keep screwing up over the same thing, you know, you know, um, try to work through a situation, but not at your not at your expense. Not if you feel like you're being stabbed in the back or walked over. And then these guys jumped out together. Self acceptance, meditation, and romance. You could be seeking romance or needing that at this time as well. You could find some part of this reading very romantic for you. Again, I, you know, I'm not a Pisces. I really can't even sort of um, suss this out entirely for you. You're going to have to tell me on a romantic front how this would work out for you. Um, but however, you know, maybe there's a new opportunity for romance. Maybe you've discovered, oh, this person isn't for me. I'm going to keep hopeful and now I'm single or I'm free and I can find the right person for me. Self-acceptance is really, really important no matter who we are and no matter what the situation, Pisces. Self-acceptance means you love yourself and you validate and trust yourself no matter who else does. So really try to put yourself in that position as well. You are somebody's world or someone is your world, but make sure that you have your faculties, you have your feet in the ground. As I said, you know, we have some pentacle energy here. Um, there could be a couple. There could be a third party. We do have that king and queen of pentacles. We do have this king of cups over here. These are characters in the month for you. Um, if they are not and you are just isolated from the rest of the world and this is your energy, but certainly partnerships and couplehood may be a big theme for you. Self-acceptance, you do have to accept yourself before you can expect anyone else to. And then meditation is always wise. We can always learn the most about ourselves and what we're capable of by going within. So maybe being quiet, maybe going within, maybe taking a step back is a really important part of healing and feeling good about yourself um, by the end of the month here, April, uh, Pisces. <laughs> So that is your reading. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I love reading for you. As I said, comment below if you have a second. If you like my content, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate the support. Check out your bi-weeklies and take great care of yourselves, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.